And we begin tonight in East Memphis, where new details about a robbery outside a restaurant Sunday night that sent two employees to the hospital have come to light. Thanks for joining us. I'm Joe Birch. And I'm Joyce Peterson in for Joy Redmond this evening. The victims both work at Tokyo Grill on Park Avenue. Memphis police say a gunman held them up not long after a customer was shot at the Kroger that's right down the street on Mendenhall. Action News 5's Walter Murphy is live in East Memphis this evening. And Walter, MPD released new surveillance video that could help solve at least one of these crimes. That's right. So we are here at Tokyo Grill where those two employees were shot while well, they were just trying to walk to their cars and they got done with their shifts on Sunday night. Now, that woman that I talked to who also witnessed this crime and tried to give them first aid just minutes after they were shot told me that she is now just feeling terrible about how Memphis has gotten so bad when it comes to crime. Tokyo Grill is back open for business after two employees were shot on Sunday night walking to their cars at the end of their shift. I just remember the gunshots and the male voice. All I saw was that he deliberately shot those two people. According to police, the mask wearing suspect tried to steal one victim's backpack. She tried to fight him for it and his response was opening fire. The woman was hit in the thigh. Her co-worker shot in the leg. The backpack the shooter was willing to kill over had only a few dollars in cash and a set of car keys. Oh, that's where everything's kind of going is violence and destroying things, stealing things. Just, you know, just another day in Memphis. Half an hour before and only half a mile away, another robbery resulted in gunfire at Kroger on Mendenhall. The item they were after was a shopper's white infinity. When the victim approached the suspect, an accomplice in a black infinity shot him. Yeah, you just see him bleeding out in the front of the store. Enough with the shootings. As of Tuesday afternoon, no one has been arrested in either crime. Action News 5 requested surveillance video from the restaurant next door to Tokyo Grill. The owner told us he gave it to MPD, and his attorney advised him against giving it to us. But Connor Failing, who used her t-shirt as a makeshift tourniquet for the Tokyo Grill employees, says that she hopes the culprits are caught. He still could have bled out. That was in his in his calf and she still could have bled out because it was in the back of her thigh. You know, th both of those locations aren't very far from your main arteries. Now, there's still no suspect information about either one of these crimes, but if you have any information or you recognize someone that was in that surveillance video, you're encouraged to call Crime Stoppers. That number is 901-528-CASH. Reporting live in East Memphis tonight, I'm Walter Murphy, Action News 5.